Here's another case where we're going to use the strategy that I call predict the question. Now that may seem like kind of silly here because there's a very clear question. What is there to predict? They just tell us what they want. But I just want to talk about it because it's a reminder that when there is a literal question on a writing, uh, on a writing section, it means that the question is testing the ideas in the passage. So we need to follow the instructions that they give us. The reason a lot of people get this one wrong is they kind of forget that and they start thinking about some of the other stuff that matters. Usually not grammar, we don't tend to fall into that mistake on these, but a lot of people just go with style. They kind of think about what they think sounds best or what they would write or what they think is the most interesting fact about lions. That's not our task here. If we remember that it's about the ideas and that that means we have to follow the instructions that we're given, it doesn't matter how kind of stupid the right answer might sound, we just we pick it because it accomplishes the goal that we're told. In this case, we need to figure out what is the goal. Which choice most effectively completes the explanation of a possible origin of the lion dance? So if we start the paragraph, we can see they're talking about the lion dance, right? The experts agree that it originated in the Han Dynasty. However, there's little agreement about the dance's original purpose. Some evidence suggests that the earliest version of the dance was an attempt to ward off an evil spirit. So now we got to bring the lions into this, right? So notice the first part of this sentence doesn't talk about the lions at all, right? It's just talking about the dance. So we need to connect the dance to the lions. And yes, lions are obviously very fierce, but what does that have to do with the dance? Nothing. Or at least nothing that's explicit, right? Like, I guess I could make some sort of assumption like, oh, well, because people thought they were fierce, it would scare away the ghosts. Yeah, maybe, but that's not for you to do, right? The lions need to do that themselves. So you can't, like, start weaving in your own assumptions into the passage. It's got to be there. So what, what does it? Well, the, I don't care about the name of the spirit. But I do think that, oh, if they tell me that they're dancing in a lion costume, I don't know why that would scare away the evil spirit, but it at least relates it in a way that is in the text itself and not something where your reader is going to have to assume the connection. That's what we want. We want it to be just as explicit as possible. I couldn't care less about where the village is located, right? I care about why the lion and the dance are connected and this choice makes that connection. So there we go. If we're focused on the ideas, there's only one answer that makes any sense. If we're thinking about what sounds best to us or what we personally like, we're gonna get it wrong because we're gonna be thinking in the wrong part of our brain and we're gonna be deciding on things that do, don't have anything to do with our purpose here. We're given a goal, accomplish the goal.